What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to talk Berber skinks. So in the U.S., there's two forums. This is the Southern Forum, which was imported from Morocco a few years ago. These are found in from Marrakesh, and they go up towards Algeria. And then in Algeria, you have the Northern Forum, which we'll bring out in a second. And these have not been bred in the U.S. yet. It is believed the southern is a different subspecies from the northern. A few of these are flown around with breeders that have bred the northern form. So in the future, some of these might be become more readily available. But until then, you know, they're a great little species. This one's an adult. As you can see, it's about 18 inches. The care is pretty similar to the blue tongue skinks. You know, we give them a basking spot of about 110, and then we give them a range to the cool side in the low 70s. We feed them insects, grain free dog food, and our organ food mixes as well. Unlike blue tongues, these guys lay eggs. So if you breed them, you'll need an incubator, whereas blue tongues are live bearers. But they are a great little lizard. They come in some great oranges, as you can see on the side. Now we'll put this guy away and bring out the other form. Now here we have the northern form, and these are from Algeria. And Algeria has not exported these in years. These are captive bred from Europe. And there's also another breeder working with some of these also. And as you can see, they still have some great oranges on the backs and side, but they're more of a lighter gray, whereas their southern form is more darker. And these, if you want to start a breeding project, they're pretty easy to care for. And, you know, they'd make, make a great beginner pet. Go all the way from Balahi, Algeria, and then basically kind of southwest to Morocco and we're going to put a map up to show you guys the kind of ranges that where and it's hard there's not a ton of information so from where each subspecies you know ends and starts it's there's not a ton of work with these and the hard part a lot of the times there's another species out there which is the Schneider skink which they're similar looking and those come in still wild caught. They have a bigger range. So they're brought in more. And we'll show you some pictures of those to distinguish the different. And so really if you want a true Berber skink, you'll have to get them from a breeder. Whether it's hopefully us this year or there's Kim Lancey down in Florida. He's successfully bred these for a few years. They're a great little species, whether you want to just have them as a pet. I hope you guys enjoy this. Some little different. Thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe.